Today on Mo's Toy Room, we're going to unbox from McFarlane Toys the very brand new from the Mortal Kombat line Sub-Zero Frozen Over and compare this repaint to the original. Coming right up. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Mo's Toy Room coming from my room to yours. And today we are going to unbox from McFarlane Toys the brand new repaint version from the Mortal Kombat line. It's the Frozen Over Sub-Zero. Come on in here, son, as you can tell. Here he is locked behind his window of pain, trapped in his plastic prison, looking really sharp. The whole box detail on this thing is just a little bit different than the way that the original ones came in. Here's an original version of what he looked like before. They just redid this guy up a little bit. Uh, to give us a whole nother variant like they do in the games. You could pick alternate skins and everything in the Mortal Kombat line. And McFarlane Toys is doing it. They're giving us that. So right there on the side, you can see this has like a brown font on it, kind of. And that's what separates it, which lets you know that this is a different version of the original. And then if you look on the back right there, you can see on that back font, on the back of this package here how he could look in action figure form in action if you have the right setup there you go and then on the side they just threw in an amazing photo of sub-zero just looking as ferocious and deadly as he is this classic champion deserves stuff like this by far and folks what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to unbox this guy i'm going to take him out of the out of the box and we're going to be right back all right, everyone, so we're back and we got them out of the package. Zoom on in here, son. Here is the original version that came out first. And it's been probably almost a year since this one been out. And this is the newer one that we got at Target. And it was $19.99 US dollars. You cannot beat the bargain when you turn them to the side. These are the exact same figures. But the craftsmanship and artwork over at McFarland Toys they're no joke they don't play around there these look like two different figures but they're the exact same if you're if you're wondering with these weapons right here on the back these do not come out they're just locked in and i'll go through that in the review we'll turn them side by side as you could tell he he also brings his um, battle axes right there that he uses in the game and then his fatality uh, when he rips people's spines out with their skull. So the way that this looks, this looks more like a Coca-Cola gummy, kind of, I'm going to say. So I'm going to go with that. Just call it the Coca-Cola gummy var variants of the weapons and his uh, fatality thing. All right, folks, we're going to put this guy aside right now. Oh, my throat is hurting. I need to get me some of this Fresca right here. Man, I'm, my throat is just killing me right now. Mm. God, it's so good. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and it also brings a stand. You can see right there, Mortal Kombat on the stand. A lot of them don't do that, but McFarlane does. As you can tell, this figure holds his weapon really good. We're going to get right to this review. All right. So we're going to turn him to the side right there. Put his, push his head down. That's about as far as it's going to go. It does not look up very well due to, due to the armor that they have put on him. So he has his bandana back locked in the back. And he can he spin his head all the way around? No, it just locks. It just locks. It hits that. So not much movement, but hey, this character is just so beautiful the way it looks. Why would you need to spin his head around? No need for the Linda Blair. Does he do the Michael Myers side to side? No, he does not. It's just stiff. All right, so let's try and raise this right arm right here. He does raise at 90. We'll do the left one at the same time. They both have that double jointed elbow on them. They have a pin there and a pin there. Pin there, pin there. It's just with all his battle armor, you really can't see it. So we're going to start with his shoulder. He does have that shoulder pivot that's in there. I call it like a butterfly pivot. You can't really see it with his whole uh, attire, but it's there. It makes that shoulder move around like that. Okay. So then when you scroll down below, you can see covered right there, he has that bicep swivel. So that you can see it from the back right there. You see how that, that whole arm right there just moves separate from the shoulder? 
okay and then he also does that with the other arm right there the bicep swivel and also has that moving shoulder that butterfly extra thing in there so now that i got him there the, he has the flexibility of double jointed where he could touch his head super nice we're going to push his hands right out right here does he have any swivel right here at the elbow no he does not he does not have any at his uh, gauntlets on his arms right here either but he does have really good movement in his hands his hands spin all the way around this guy's just a flat out fighter you know so he has a lot of good movement there all right so let me switch this thing back okay gotta get these shoulders in the right location or else i don't want to break them i wonder why that one's clicking so much and we're going to go right here below his chest plate this thing this armor is just so thick on there you can see it and it comes off of him if i wouldn't know how to take it off to be honest but it's there and it's really thick it's made of like a uh soft well kind of like a mid-grade plastic maybe some of it is soft vinyl some of it's hard some of it's soft so it's a mixture of kind of both the paint scheme on these is just remarkable just beautiful so obviously he could probably move you can see he has right below his chest cavity you can see it in the side right there he he should have movement there but this is holding restricting it but what he does have is you can move him at the waist as well you won't be able to get that flexibility from below the right below his chest cavity but at the waist he does have it but he should have it right there too but it's covered up and it's held in place so and then when you look at all his attire right here there's draping from below from his waist down you could see that all the way around this is just soft vinyl some of it is hard plastic they have mixed it man i wish i had figures like this when i was younger this would have been so awesome but i do want to say that these are like a 14 and up product so if you're going to buy them for your little guys then think twice about it because some of the stuff like on the baraka figure are very sharp and they can stick that in their mouth they could pop you know scratch their eye or whatever messing with these things so i'm just giving you a preview of that all right now you can see with all the blood all over it obviously this guy has been in battle has been in tournament form okay being an alternate skin there you go with that right leg moving up the anderson silva kick super nice can he hit that bruce lee kick of course he can this is sub-zero the brother of scorpion these guys are battle battle killers right here. They fight till the death. You can see all the all the construction under there for that way it makes these figures do that. Okay. Now when you look above, if you look at his um, hip area, he does have a little bit of movement right there. You can kind of see it from the back. But if you scroll down right here above the knee, he has swivel, which is really nice. Now amongst that swivel, you're gonna see that pin right there. And right there he has a dope that allows him to have that double jointed knee it's gonna bend and it's gonna bend in, again now you can see the double joint right there that's where it is now when you look and see that this guy's such a killer he even has some some knives right here from all the ninja training and stuff that he has been through okay these guys are loaded and they're made to fight but this is stuck on them so you can't take that off okay you can see the little buckles and everything they got on this this figure is so detailed it's amazing as to how detailed it is he has a side rocker on the foot foot goes up and down very good and then what's nice about mcfarland a lot of people don't like is that pop in the toe i love it due to the fact that it caters also to the photographers who photograph who do photography with these so you could get them in like battle form like for instance you could get them to wear if you wanted him in a kicking pose everybody knows that you just can't kick like that you can if you want to or a side kick but a lot of straight kicks up the middle is when you catch that guy with that up part bam that's where you knock him out this has that super nice feature thank you mcfarland for that okay we're going to go to the left leg he does have that movement amongst his hip area this does not come out it is locked in place i wish they would have they should have made it to where these could have popped out. You could have put them in and out of the holster. 
That would have been super nice, but for $19.99 US dollars, I'm not even sweating it. Same exact thing right, right above the knee, right there. He has that swivel, really nice, and it works real well. It's not like hard to do. And then he has the pin there. Pin there also has that amazing double jointed knee. You can see it right there. Really nice. All right there. Okay. And does he move above the boot? No, he does not. But he also has that side rocker on the foot. And then the up, down. And also the toe bend. All right, folks. Let's get a full uh, turnaround on this figure. And we're going to call it. All right, if you do the full turnaround on this figure, it is super amazing as to how different these two look. And they are such the exact same figure. Same mold, everything's the same. One's just a little bit newer than the other. To sell you another product, but when you're a gamer and you play this game and you see these alternate skins, you can understand why. You got to have what's in the game, man. I mean, you just have to have it. And thank you, McFarland, for that. Uh, but whatever you do, McFarland, please don't do like the all gold versions or the all silver versions. Because when you did them with the Spawn guys back in the old days, I didn't buy them then. And I don't think I would do it here. But when they look like this, and I know that I have played this version on the game or I can look forward to playing a championship version on the game and I have the figure right behind me. That's awesome. So continue, if you're gonna continue doing repaints, just continue doing the game, follow the game and um, give us the repaints of those and the alternate skins and stuff. You know, maybe you could do one where you have an alt, bring one with an alternate head where it'll show them unmasked or have some of the battle damage on their face. Stuff like that would be really cool. Or what else you could do is maybe you guys can partner up with the Mortal Kombat people. And in the future, if you continue working with the Mortal Kombat brand, you could throw in a little like code or something to where that way, even if that skin is not available or even if there's a move that's not available that he does, maybe if you buy the figure, you could get the code inside of there and then we could plug it into our Xbox or into our PlayStation or our mobile phone and we could play that new um version of it but anyway folks hopefully you enjoyed this edition of Mo's toy room and if you did like this uh video and you have not yet subscribed please do so and subscribe after this video is over and also hit that bell for notifications so that way you know when the next video hits um also you can follow us on instagram at Mo's toys that's m-o-e-s t-o-y-s that's Mo's toys you can also follow us on tiktok we have videos there that we upload all the time on TikTok at Mo's Toy Room, which is just like our YouTube channel. Mo's Toy Room on TikTok, Mo's Toys on Instagram. And from Mo's Toy Room to yours, folks, good night, everyone. <clears throat>